More than six decades after his death on October 19, 1961, the identity of the real father of the fourth president of the Republic of the Philippines, Sergio Serencio Osmeña, has been revealed. All with the help of science, after samples were extracted from three descendants of three prominent families in Cebu through DNA testing. The details from Jesse Atienza of PTV Cebu. More than six decades have passed. The residence of former President Sergio Osmeña still stands tall here in Cebu. Tranquility resides here, but these photos and other belongings resound the stories of the past. The building administrator says 80% of the personal belongings inside are still original. One of these belongings is the 1940 Cadillac owned by the fourth president, which was believed to have served General Douglas MacArthur for a ride while he visited President Osmeña, whose name has again made a noise recently. After more than a century, his biological father was identified. Of the 17 presidents of the Philippines, si Sergio Osmeña lang yung illegitimate. So, Number one, issue na yan, no? I mean, not really an issue, but it, it makes him different from the rest of the presidents. Pangalawa, uh, si Sergio Osmeña lang yung, kung babasahin mo yung mga official biographies ng mga presidente natin, siya lang yung hindi sinusulat yung pangalan ng either mama or papa, yung tatay or nanay niya. Some would write the name of the mother kasi kilala naman natin yung nanay niya na si Juana Osmeña. In just two months and with the help of technology, Via DNA testing, samples were extracted from three descendants of the families of Osmeña, Gotiaco, and Sanson. Results show that Antonio Sanson was the father of President Sergio Osmeña, a prominent and wealthy Chinese mestizo who had vast lands in Borbon in the province of Cebu. 23 markers, yan yung tinitingnan ng mga ano, ng, sa laboratory yung markers, yan yung parang mga bits and pieces ng DNA natin na kinocompare kung nagmamatch ba. Sa 23 markers, 100% ng 23 markers ng mga Osmeña nagmatch 100% with a sample given by the Sanson descendant. This is the first time in the Philippine history that a former president was involved in a DNA testing to identify his father and to give answer to the descendants. Forensic genealogist urges the public. Sergio Osmeña would not have become President Sergio Osmeña kung wala yung nanay and tatay niya. So it's very important that we pay tribute to these two people. Even after 145 years, importanteng mabigyan natin sila ng due recognition. Jesse Atienza from PTV Cebu, for the nation.